Hello, dear students. This is a very interesting video I come up with today. So here I will be talking about all the possible econometrics concepts, and uh, in the, I will try to make a series on this, and as much as possible I will be covering. Okay. So today I will start it with uh, some specific test. In today's test, I will be working on the von Neumann ratio test. Okay, so today's video is on von Neumann ratio test. So what is this test is all about? This is about the autocorrelation structure. And what happens uh, if you want to check the autocorrelation of a given system? Okay. So in econometrics, von Neumann have done a great job in this. Uh, so this defines the von Neumann test in case of autorelation works on the ratio thing. So what is this ratio? So this is the ratio of the mean square successive difference to the variance. Mean square successive difference to the variance. So how fluctuating this pattern is. Okay. So that is being guaranteed by this test. And we our main target is to calibrate the system with respect to the estimated disturbance values. Yeah. So how? Let me just tell you how. So if it is sigma square by s square, okay. So in this given pattern, it is explained by the according to the von Neumann t equal to 2 to n e t minus e of t minus 1 square divided by n minus 1 and that is divided by summation of e t minus e bar square by n. So However, in an OLS procedure, E bar equal to 0. In ordinary least square, E bar equal to 0. This is the presumption. Now, for large values of n, von Neumann ratio sigma square by A square, this is a total and this is a sample, may be taken approximately normally distributed. For large sample, So I'm going to do it for large samples. So there you can do it. Uh, mean equal to estimated value of sigma square by a square that is equal to 2n by n minus 1. Okay. And the variance in that case will become variance of sigma square by a square equal to 4n square by n minus 2, n minus 1, n minus 1 whole cube. Okay, so the formula for mean and variance are only true if the E values are independently distributed and uh, E values are independent here. So for an example, we can assume that with 100 observations, uh, uh, we can do it. But if the number of values are going from 100 to 1000 to 10,000, 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 10, so this test become a little bit weaker. So in the next video, we will be working on the Darwin-Watson test.